Hello everybody, it's Ryan here, aka Rydor the Banisher, coming to you from my spooky Halloween house as we prepare for the month of October. And in this video, I'm going to be going over champion points. What the three trees are, what champion points are, and how many champion points you need to be fully optimized, as well as the cap and a few of the passives and slottables that I use. So stay tuned and let's get it. So what champion points are is after your character reaches level 50, the new leveling system from there will switch to champion points. And every time you level up, you will get a champion point as a level rather than a skill point. And these champion points you can spend in the constellation system. Champion points are account bound, so once you're at the CP levels, all of the characters that you create will have access to those champion points. By default, you can push the equals key to open the champion points constellation window. There are three constellations, green, blue, and red tree. Green is the craft constellation, blue is the warfare constellation, and red is the fitness constellation. An alt character that you create that is under level 50 has access to all the champion points you have already unlocked on your main character. But your alt character cannot gain champion points until they reach level 50. But they can use the ones you already have, making your alt characters very powerful and easier to level up. For example, this is the 18th character I have created. And although she's only a level 12, she has access to the 2,535 champion points that are already on my account. You can also access your champion points from your character screen here. And from here, we can start to put in the champion points that we have earned. So let's start in the green tree. The first thing that you will notice is that there are gold orbs and green orbs in the constellation. The gold orbs are passives you can put points into and are permanent passives, much like if you spent a skill point in a skill line passive, they will always be active on your character. The green orbs are known as slottables, and these give your character a unique approach to power and building your character's power. Up top here, you can see these sockets. Each tree can have four slottables. So once slotted, the orb is active, giving your character that power. So, for example, if we spend champion points on this Steed's Blessing slottable, it costs 50 champion points to max it out. Once we do that, we will left click and drag it up to one of these empty green sockets. Unclick it to place it, and now that it is active, it's giving us 20% movement speed. So starting from the bottom, you can see you have to unlock your way up to open up parts of the constellation. Many of the gold passives can be unlocked and added to in stages. So depending on how many champion points you have, this is a nice feature to let lower champion point level characters get access to more slottables quicker up into the constellation. To switch over to the blue constellation, either right click to go back or left click the arrow over on the right. And the blue constellation has gold orbs that are also passives and blue orbs that are also slottables as well, just like the green tree. So starting at her chin with the precision passive, uh, unlocking this will unlock many different directions in the constellation for us to go into. Next, you will notice these purple orbs glowing. These are called sub constellations and you can simply left click to open these. And these sub constellations have more passives and slottables for you to obtain if you choose to do so. You can right click to exit the sub constellation. And just like the green tree, the blue tree allows you to slot four blue orbs or slottables as they're called at a time. And yes, these can be changed out at any time by either slotting another slottable in its spot or spending the 3000 gold to respect your CP. There are lots of ways to do so, but for this video, yes, you can change out your slottables if you choose to do so. Okay, let's move over to the red tree next. The fitness tree is like the blue tree in that you have your gold orbs, which are passives. You have your red orbs that are slottables and you have your purple sub constellations as well. I like to think of the red tree as kind of the utility tree 
It has a lot of perks that give your character power, whether you're PvPing or PvE. There are some slottables that have stages, just like the gold orb passives do, meaning you can put a minimum amount of champion points in them and still slot them. For example, this slottable here, Siphoning Spells, has five stages to it. So for players that have less champion points, they can still put 10 points into this and slot it to get the extra power until they get more champion points to add down the road. The champion point cap or max level is 3600 champion points, but that does not mean you need to be at level 3600 to be at max power. In reality, to be fully optimized, you only need around 1,640 champion points, depending on what slottables you choose. So, when I say fully optimized, that means you have, you have maxed out all the gold orb passives in all three trees, and have your four slottables maxed in all three trees. Any additional champion points gained from this point on are just convenience, making it easier to swap out slottables without having to respect with gold. And every time you level up, you will get one champion point. You'll get a green champion point. Then the next time you level up, you'll get a blue and then a red, etc. Even at max level 3600 champion points, you still will not be able to unlock every slottable. So other than convenience and maybe some bragging rights, there is no benefit to rush to 3600. Just focus on hitting that 1640 mark if you haven't yet. Okay, so let's go over each individual tree. So the green tree, or the craft constellation, this is the quality of life kind of stuff. Uh, getting extra gold, extra crafting inspiration, extra crafting mats, helping you to be a better thief, giving you a faster mount, fishing upgrades, pretty much anything you need to fit your personal play style. There are some really good slottables in the green tree that do improve your power both for PvE and PvP. Uh, for example, Sustaining Shadows here, this reduces the cost of Sneak by 50%. Steed's Blessing, this increases your overall out of combat movement speed by 20%, which is really good. And rationer down here. This increases your food and drink that you eat or consume by 30 minutes, saving you some gold down the road. Gifted Rider increases your mount speed by 10%, and this also stacks with your Cyrodiil continuous attack passive. Uh, and War Mount right here. This removes the stamina cost for sprinting while you're on your mount. As long as you're out of combat, that is. Basically making it so your mount can sprint indefinitely outside of combat. So these are all really great choices. Okay, next the blue tree or warfare constellation. This is the meat and potatoes of your character. Whether you're DPSing, healing, or tanking. So uh, her head and left arm. These are great for DPS sections, passives, and slottables. Her right arm over here is used for healers, and the chest and stomach area that will be used for tanks. Untamed Aggression is a good slottable if you're a DPS. And you have these other ones down here if you need extra magicka or stamina, they're alright. Uh, Fighting Finesse or Backstabber, these are both really good choices as well. Uh, personally, I like Fighting Finesse used on my healer, and I use Backstabber on my DPS personally. But there are so many good slottables in the blue tree, it just depends on your playstyle. Wrathful Strikes here is also another really good choice for DPS, and then maybe one of the ones on her left arm, depending on your playstyle. Okay, for healers, her right arm offers some really great slottables, depending on your role. Whether you're direct or support, uh, personally, I like Soothing Tide for those big AoE boosts, and I also like Swift Renewal for those Hill Over Time boosts. And again, there are so many good options in the blue tree. Uh, just try to fit it to your playstyle, and you'll be fine. Okay, and lastly, for you tanks down here in the stomach section, Unassailable is a really good option for those AoE boss fights. Um, Duelist's Rebuff are, is a good one for those single target boss fights. And even more so than even the healers, as a tank, 
each fight may require different slottables to be efficient. Um, not every boss fight or encounter is the same. So those really great tanks that you see, they have a variety of slottables depending on what type of fight they're in. Okay, over to the red tree or fitness constellation. I call this tree the utility tree because it covers all kinds of really good buffs for everything, whether it's PvE or PvP playstyles. Boundless Vitality is a decent choice if you need a little more health or it's a good option to balance with glyphs and food to hit that certain health number. Uh, Fortified is really good for tanks or PvPing. And Rejuvenation is a good option. Uh, it's a good recovery booster if you're looking to stack recovery. Strategic Reserve is another good way to stack health recovery, especially if you're running a high-costing ultimate. Um, either Siphoning Spells or Blooding Renewal are great for solo players, and they're also really good to slot when you're doing uh, solo arenas. Spirit Mastery is great for those PvP Templars that want that one second res time. Okay, and lastly, in the middle purple sub-constellation here, we have Celerity, and this increases your movement speed by 10%, and this is good for all aspects of gameplay. Well, that's it for this video, folks. I hope it helped explain champion points a little better for you and gave you some insights on maximizing your character and some slottable ideas. Thank you so much for watching. This is Rydor, out. We are the champion points, my friends. Dun, 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 dun. And we... <laughs>